If you want to improve on controller in Fortnite, then you came to the right video. In this video, I'm going to give you guys 5 essential Fortnite tips and tricks in order to allow you to reach your full potential. These tips will revolve around controller settings, drills, and techniques that will significantly boost your skill in Fortnite. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe, but without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first tip is to go to your settings, and we're going to make 3 setting changes that will reduce your input delay on controller. The first is to make sure you are on generic input. This is unfortunately not possible for console players. However, if you are on PC and you're playing on controller, the input delay will be significantly reduced on your controller if you play on generic. Professional players such as Reed and Mero have used this setting to their advantage, and a lot of other really good controller players also use this setting. I noticed that my edit delay on controller was significantly reduced because of this setting change. It literally doesn't affect your gameplay negatively at all. It doesn't have any downsides, only potential upsides. And if I were you, I would take that chance 10 times out of 10. The second is to learn to use the bumpers on your controller for selecting. Though this is not for everyone, I highly recommend this if you don't have a custom controller with mouse click triggers or trigger stoppers. This is mainly because the bumpers bottom out faster than the triggers on both Xbox and PlayStation controllers. This makes it significantly easier to perform triple edits because you don't have to wait for the triggers to come up before you confirm an edit. The third one is to make sure that the disable pre-edit option button is disabled. This gives us a lot of extra edit delay on controller, plus you'd much rather learn how to perfectly time your edits instead for you to improve naturally. Pre-edits in itself is still impactful in certain situations in competitive regardless, so disable this option as it positively impacts your skills on controller and also reduces any sort of input delay on your controller. The second tip is to learn how to play like a controller player. I see a lot of players trying to play like a mouse and keyboard player on controller and that's very unrealistic. Obviously, there are good examples of insane controller players with keyboard mechanics like Chronic SJ. However, I can guarantee that 99% of the player base on controller doesn't have the skill that SJ has in order for you to master keyboard mechanics. The best example of a controller player acknowledging their platform and using controller as an advantage is Reet. Just watch how he plays and how he dominates the game using the burst SMG, a certain weapon that isn't used by many keyboard players that often. This is because Reed abuses controller movement and aim assist in order to kill his opponent. He actually just had a 39 kill win in a solo cash cup finals. I highly recommend checking out that video so that you have a better understanding of what it means to play like a controller player. I would say the best advantage that controller players have that mouse and keyboard players don't have is movement and positioning. Being a controller player means you have 360 degree movement. This means you can move unnatural and out of place so that players will start to miss shots unintentionally. Learn how to utilize multiple techniques to your advantage and trust me you'll win more fights in any game mode in Fortnite. The third tip is the tip that I learned from Chain underscore FN's video, so make sure to check him out after this one. You have to make specific adjustments to your inventory in order to have optimal placement of your guns. On mouse and keyboard, you can just use the buttons that is bound to specific areas on your inventory to go to them. However, on controller, you can't do this and you have to rely on switch mode. If you've seen controller players pull out their pickaxe before they pull out their weapon, this is because they have their shotgun on the first slot. This is the most optimal placement for your shotgun because if you had selected a slot previously, after building, you may accidentally pull whatever you have out and die an avoidable death. So have your shotgun on the first slot, this allows you to pull out your pickaxe and go to your shotgun straight after you finish an edit or a build and you had accidentally selected a different slot on your inventory. The next would be your spray weapon. This could be an assault rifle or an SMG. This allows you to easily pull out your spray weapon after you hit a shotgun shot. Other than that, of course, you could also switch between your shotgun and spray weapon easily. Then you would want your heals and rotation items on the next 3 slots, having the rotation items preferably on the furthest to the right so you could switch to it from your shotgun. This is the most optimal inventory layout for controller players. This is actually a difference maker for all controller players, especially for beginners. The fourth tip is to practice using Visilus map. This is one of the best maps in Fortnite for mechanics training as it allows you to change the speed. If you need to learn a new mechanic or a new technique, then using the slow move feature is good. You can start from the slowest all the way up to normal speed. And you can also use the speed booster to help you become a faster editor. Highly recommend this map, it's also aesthetically pleasing in my opinion and you can play music. I've been using this map for warmups and also for content for over a year now. And here's the code if you want to play it yourself. 
Another creative map that you can use is the Aim Edit Peace Control Map by Zero Build. The cool thing about this map is that there's a rank system in it that tells you how much you're improving and all the aspects shown on screen. I would 100% recommend practicing your aim as well as your edits if you are a beginner. Peace Control is definitely more for intermediate and advanced players. Personally, I play on this map for 30 minutes a day as you don't want to spend too much time in creative, but feel free to spend as much time as you want in this map if you have that time. The final creative map I'll recommend to you is Forever zone wars but it's jerian and driven this is the best zone wars map by far due to how fast you respawn and the instant gameplay this is a really good practice map and you can improve at a fast rate by just simply learning to fight in this map a mistake i see in a lot of players is that they run and hide while playing a zone wars map this is not how you should approach playing a zone wars map especially if you need to practice this actually doesn't apply to only controller players but also to mouse and keyboard players. This is the best way to approach a creative map. I personally spend an hour practicing Zone Wars just because how much it tests your patience, your mechanics, and your game IQ. This is by far the best way to apply everything you learn in this video, and it goes as far as being the best way to improve in Fortnite. The fifth and final tip is to practice tarping on controller. This mechanical drill is one of the best ways you can practice all levels of editing and building. It tests your crosshair placement, your edit timings, and so much more. This is relatively easy to do on mouse and keyboard, but for controller, this is significantly harder. You can also use this technique and real games, which makes this move a game changer for controller players. Especially if you are on console where you have input delay, you definitely want to be practicing this so you can play better in late game situations. Tarping helps you edit under weird situations and it tests your crosshair placement. I suggest pairing this tip with the fourth one. Using Visilu's map is really good since the speed boosters would help you get the technique down. A bonus tip that I will give you guys is to look into a buying a custom controller from Cinch Gaming. A lot of controller players play without claw or paddles and that is just significantly harder to improve on. And since claw is not for everyone, I highly suggest checking out Cinch Gaming. They they sell highly affordable controllers for the best performance and aesthetics on the market. I personally use their 24 hour joker build, it just looks absolutely beautiful and the features on this controller is insane. It contains two action buttons on the back and it even has mouse click triggers to go along with it. I've been a cinch gaming customer since 2023 and I do not have any regrets purchasing from them. They're one of the most reliable controller companies out there and that shows in my partnership with them. You can use code buffalo for 5% off off of any store purchase or you can use the link in the description to support the channel. Trust me, even just pressing the link in the description helps the channel a lot. If you somehow learned something new from this video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers and I want you guys to be a part of the first 10,000. Make sure to check out my other social media platforms. I've been posting a lot on TikTok recently and I really want to grow on a different platform. Consider checking my TikTok in the link in the description. And if you are interested in updates on my life, then you can also check out my Twitter as well as my Instagram. Otherwise, that's it for me. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Once again, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below your suggestions for the next video and I might feature you. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.